Olivia. Oh, hey, you didn't see that. Hey, that's really cool. What's that called again? Oh, this one? Well, I don't know what it says here, but I got it from India. And it's an instrument. I think it's known as the Tibetan Sound Bowl. What do you think? Brilliant. Sounds good. It's like a ring, a lovely melody to the ear. Yep. And to the brain. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> right, Olivia, my next question is because um, in a lot of Kung Fu um, martial arts routines, sometimes they do splits mm. in the routine, and I'm not flex enough, flexible enough to do a front toe split, which is what I'm wanting to do sometime in the future. Mm. So, how do you think I should build up to that? Well, with, with practice, you get there. And if you practice every day, you'll increase your flexibility and strength. And practicing in the pose for longer than periods of time can help to really get that muscle memory. So I'll show you a way to do it. But first you want to warm up. So first doing some warm up exercises. And even if, usually if you're halfway during your yoga practice, really being able to um, try it out to start off with. So what you can do, there's so many different ways, but how I do it is I put a mat, usually just underneath where my right foot is going to be. Just because I've got blisters. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't want it rubbing and if you have a thicker mat that might be easier on your knee and so what you can do is lift your lift your left leg a little back and then lifting your ankle and then flexing your toe kind of just going further and further into the stretch and then Whoa. once you're there if you just want to take a few breaths here Maybe you, like, you want to reach up, really feel into that, or if you want to kind of go down into the stretch as you exhale, and just yeah, stopping here. And then just really, like, really just relaxing here for a while. And I think that's how you can improve it. Slowly getting back up, you can either draw your foot back elegantly, and then you can go into um, pigeon's pose after if you want to Really bend that leg and then sh stretching it and then dropping down wherever you feel comfortable. Really, um, the opposing pose for the forward splits is this one. You can help up with and you can lift your leg and then just inhale, drawing back, but making sure your spine is straight. <laughs> this one, yeah. And you can also use a block and just putting it under your glutes and really just kind of sitting on that to assist and then inhale and you can put your palms together if you like. And that's a really good stretch on the quads and really good after the splits because you go your legs go from extended to flexing and this one is good for opening the chest too. And so like my back, always swapping to do the opposite leg as well. It's important to stretch out both. So same, lift your toe up and down, up and down. And you might notice that you're more flexible on one side than the other. So if so, you can stay in the stretch for however you feel comfortable. And then back again, if you want to draw your back and then pigeon pose relaxing again head down really taking note of the breath and again 
You can use this block. You can, a lot of supermarkets you can get that block, pressing into that. It can be used as a meditation block as well. Just to sit on and stretching here. Staying here for however feels comfortable for you. If you feel uncomfortable and it's kind of hurting, always go out of the pose the same way you got into it. Well, usually. This one you'd probably lift your toes and then back together, downward dog, lifting the hips up high, feet and knees back on the floor, and then child's pose, resting. And then slowly coming back up, vertebrae, vertebrae, and relax. <laughs> and that's it. That's how you do it. Oh, thank you, Olivia. I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to do that every day and yeah. let you know in a couple of weeks whether I'm improving. Yeah, good to take photos. You can take photos for someone else can take photos. I don't want to be running. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ten thanks, seconds Olivia. to get into this pose. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.